Hello, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio and welcome to this practice focused on the spleen meridian. This is Lucy. She'll help us for as long as she can tolerate it. So working with the spleen meridian, the spleen meridian is related in traditional Chinese medicine to an element and also to a psycho-emotional aspect. The element it's related to is the earth element, that grounding, that centering. And it's the element that lands pretty much around the fall or transition time or that late summer period where we're transitioning from summer into fall winter. That time where you feel a little bit frustrated, shaken up, worried. And that's exactly what the psycho-emotional aspect is, is worry. All of us have spent times in our lives where we felt maybe we were worrying excessively. We were worried about what was going to happen in the future, or what had happened in the past, or where we were going to be next. And that sense of worry can be overwhelming and make you feel very ungrounded. So this practice, we're going to be working on really grounding down through the body. The spleen meridian runs starting at the inside of the big toe up through the arch, around behind that bone right at the ankle, up through the inner leg, through the inner knee, and comes out a little bit higher up right on the inside, top side of your thigh, into the abdomen, up through the chest, comes up around underneath the clavicle or neck bones here, and then it kind of comes down through underneath the arm. So we're going to work with that space in particular. And we're going to start with just focusing on our breath. So the best breath for really kind of settling yourself is what I call the four, seven, eight breath. Four count inhale, Retain the breath or hold it for seven counts and exhale for eight. So just taking a couple of natural breaths, just helping clear the lungs out. Settling, maybe sighing a couple of times, which feels really good, especially when you're worried a lot. And then taking a nice deep inhale and exhale. And then inhaling for one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax your breath. and then go ahead and bring the bottoms of your feet together. So the only prop you'll want to use today, if you want to, you can use a blanket or a towel underneath for your comfort. Not absolutely necessary though. Leaning over to the left, take that right leg back behind you into deer pose. So working with this inner leg works both ways in this pose, helping ground and settle us. You feel your pelvis kind of grounding down into the floor. When we're working with the spleen meridian, we're working with digestion a lot. So if your digestion has been a little bit off, we're kind of fussy, worry is high, you feel like you're transitioning from one state of being to another, you might feel that digestion kind of freezing up a little bit too. So this is going to help with digestion as well. Sitting up nice and tall, trying to bring yourself down the center, settle into your breath. Maybe close your eyes, extend that exhale, just like we did in the four, seven, eight breath, letting it be longer or even double the length of your inhale.
Just about one more minute here. Checking in with sensations you feel in this pose and your breath. Allowing it to extend and soften. Gently start to lean over to the left side, swing that right leg back around very slowly. Bring the feet flat to the floor, just rock them side to side. Sometimes it's that coming out of the pose and that time after the pose, you really feel the shift in energy. Bring the bottoms of the feet back together or shift sides. So leaning over to the right this time, take that left leg back Keeping in mind that the sides of the body are very different. So this side you might take further or closer. Always moving that knee where you feel most supported. You can always take blocks underneath the opposite knee. Sitting up as tall as you can. You're always going to have a little bit of a lean over, but see if you can get a little bit more down the center. Here again, breathing into the sensations you feel, settling down into the pelvis, into the earth. Last minute here, checking in with your breath and the sensations you feel. Gently start to lean a little bit over to the right this time. Slowly move that left leg back to center. Bottoms of the feet flat and rock those knees side to side. Find a little movement here. So if you have tender knees and like to protect your knees, I'm definitely one of those people. You can take that blanket or beach towel across the center, bring your knees on top of it. We're gonna come into dragon pose. So starting with the right hand side, take that right leg out in front, come down with your fingertips, lift that back knee off and kind of drag it forward a little bit so you end up on the top side of that kneecap. The back foot can be flexed or pointed, whatever feels best for you. And we're gonna come up into a high lunge. So if this is really not your friend, you can go ahead and take your hands down to the floor, but if you can, take that right hand onto the right thigh, left hand on top of it, and allow your hips to kind of soften forward. There is a certain yang aspect to this yin pose. A 
little bit of effort. What we're really focusing on is the fronts of the thighs, a little bit of the pelvis and abdomen. Just about one more minute here. Really breathing into the space here. And this is a pose where you wanna really focus on your breath. All the sensations happening. Inhaling nice and long, exhaling a little bit deeper. One more deep inhale and exhale. Go ahead and take your hands down to the floor. Very slowly start to shift backwards. And here you can shift into downward facing dog or child's pose. If you're in downward facing dog, just walk the heels out, shifting side to side. Come all the way down, shifting sides. I think Lucy's feeling worried today too. I don't know what her worry is about. Fingertips down, lift that back knee, pull it to you. Drop the foot however you want. Try to come up into that high dragon. Left hand first and then right on top of the thigh. a few more deep breaths here. Sometimes it can seem like forever in this pose. Really focusing on your breath, settling in. So one more deep inhale and exhale. Then 
gently taking your hands down to the floor if you're not already there. Starting to shift back super slow, taking that downward facing dog, walking it out. And then wherever you're at, go ahead and come down into child's pose. Toes together, knees apart. You can stack your hands in front of you. Last a minute here. Gently start to lift back up. You have a cat on your back, that might be more complicated. Ooh. Come all the way up. We're going to come onto our backs. Take a couple of breaths here on your back. To take cat pulling its tail next. So go ahead and shift your hips a little bit over to the right. Lean over to that left side. You're going to grab hold of that left foot either with a strap or with your hand. Inch your way over just a little bit. You can grab the opposite knee with your left hand if you want or you can just let it come out straight or just bent. Trying to take that left foot down toward the floor a little bit more holding it back behind you. This is going to really stretch the top of that thigh up into the belly and chest. Lucy is inspecting to see if I'm doing it right. You'll find that over time your twist might deepen just a little bit more. Breathing into the space, softening and allowing.
just a few more deep breaths here. Gently releasing whatever hold you have. Turn your head back to center, bring those knees back around. Go ahead and take your feet wide, knees together. Just feel the rebound in this pose, that twisting action, helping your digestion just a little bit, opening the front of the abdomen, the front of the leg, all the way up into the chest and even under the arm. A nice deep twist. And then switching sides, shifting your hips over to the left this time. This side is always a little bit harder for me, so if it is for you, then reach around, grab hold of that foot either with a strap or your hand. Shift it back where the foot is closer to the floor. Right hand on top of the left thigh or just take that leg out straight. and Just find that natural gravitational pull. Sink into your breath. Often the second side is a little bit easier because it's prepared, knows what's coming. And so are we, we're ready to allow. Just a few more breaths here. Gently start to release whatever hold you have. Go ahead and bring your knees back through center. Shift your hips down the middle, feet wide, knees together, hands to your belly. Take a few breaths here. Noticing your breath. And then gently bring the bottoms of the feet together. Let the knees fall out to the side. Here you can keep your hands on your belly or you can take your arms up overhead, elbows bent. Tuck your shoulder blades underneath. We're going to come back to that four, seven, eight breath here. So taking some nice deep inhales and exhales, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. A 
And then when you're ready, inhaling one, two, three, four, hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale one, two, three, four, hold for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax the breath. Here, if you have your arms up overhead, take your hands to your belly, settle into the shoulders, settle into the ground beneath you. Let your exhale extend naturally. One more minute here. Gently start to stretch one heel at a time out to the corners of the mat. Taking your hands alongside your hips, palms facing up, tuck the shoulder blades underneath and settle into Shavasana. Feel your body supported by the earth beneath. Feel connected, grounded, Recognizing this is just a transition period. And that you are stable and grounded enough to move past and through this transition to the other side, whatever that may be. Everything you need to get through whatever is coming up you already have inside of you. You just need to connect to that, tap into it. mind, body, and soul be filled with a sense of calm serenity. May you feel connected to all the things that you need to move past through this period of transition. May you feel the strength that you have inside May you feel grounded, 
and calm. On your next inhale, stretching out through your toes, taking your arms up overhead, stretching through the fingertips and toes, exhaling, rolling over to your right side, taking a few breaths here on your right side, taking that feeling of calm and serenity and peace with you into your day. When you feel ready, pressing yourself up into whatever seated position you like best, keeping your eyes closed or opened, taking your hands palms up or palms down. Sometimes it can be more grounding to have your palms down on your knees. Feeling that extended exhale settle and ground you. Your next exhale, drop those fingertips down to the floor. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up overhead. Open your eyes, look up at your palms. Exhale, hands to heart. Peace and namaste. I hope you enjoyed this practice. Thank you so much for joining Lucy and I. She's now settled. She's gone to sleep over there, so apparently the practice worked for her. <laughs> if you liked this practice, please like and comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. And if you are not a subscriber, please click that subscribe button over to your right side and join me for new videos every single Thursday morning, bright and early, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you would like to go a little bit further in your practice, explore your yin side and all those yin aspects of yourself, in a supportive community, you can join me at the yogaranger.vhx.tv. There's a link up above and down below. Would love to have you join us for exclusive practices there every single week, plus a few extras per month. A monthly themed practice calendar with journal prompts, lots of journal prompts involved in there if you love journaling. And also a live call every single month, a Facebook community and a community forum on the VHX site as well. Has a great app, the VHX app, where you can download and sync your videos. You can use them offline as a really great access point on the VHX app through them as well as my yogaranger.vhx.tv online. We'd love to have you join us for that. We do a lot of really deep exploration and a lot of the longer practices and a lot of the really exploratory practices are located on there. We'd love to see you there. But if not there, we'd love to see you here again on YouTube. Have a great week.